Whenever you guys are home alone, have you ever heard a strange noise or unexplained footsteps? Well, it could just be floors creaking or the wind blowing, but what if someone was living in your walls or there was a secret room hidden somewhere in your house? You probably think that something like this could never happen to you, but you'd be pleasantly surprised. I mean, the people on this list had no idea that there were disturbing rooms hidden somewhere within their own house. Well, how's it going, YouTube? I'm your host for this one, Landon Do Not Sing, and welcome back Back to another most amazing top 10 video. Before we venture off into some scary hidden rooms on this list, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you guys will never miss a video from us. Right now I think we're killing it with three videos a day, which is a lot, but you guys asked for it, so we've been working a lot. And also if you enjoyed this video, give it a like as well. All right, let's jump into it. This is the top 10 scariest secret rooms ever found. Secret room behind a bookshelf brings us to number 10. I know what you guys must be thinking. This has to be a hoax, right? Wrong. This stuff actually happens in real life, believe it or not. And maybe you have a secret room in your house that's waiting to be discovered. So right now, go around your house, start breaking down walls. Okay, maybe not. Okay, let's get back into this. We have two brothers who are playing around in one of the rooms in their house when the little brother ran into the bookshelf and it opened up and it actually led them to a secret spiral staircase that led to another secret crawl space. Sounds cool, right? Well, think again. A stranger was apparently living in this room and that's not all. That's not where this ends. The stranger must have snuck around the house and stolen items from them because there was empty rafters from Halloween candy that was taken from one of the boys' rooms. Could you imagine having a creeper living in your house tiptoeing around, maybe, you know, watching you as you sleep? Creepy religious room is in at number nine on our list. A family made a shocking discovery when they decided to find out what was hiding underneath a large metal grate that was in the middle of their hallway. After removing the crate, they found a hole that was just big enough for them to squeeze through. I'm pretty sure a small hole in the ground would be enough for me to not squeeze through it, but for me to, you know, walk away. But not for this family for some reason. Once they made it down the creepy shaft, they were in a small pitch black cellar that looked like it could have been a chapel. In the middle of the room, there was an old wooden cross that was slowly rotting away, and there were also hooks hanging from the ceiling, which could have been used to hang of meat. So yeah, I'm naturally confused here. Was this a secret chapel or maybe was it a kill room? I have no desire to find out what really went on in this cellar. So you know what? I think it's time that we move on. Let's not talk about it anymore. Let's see what we have next. And well, we're at number eight right now. Number eight behind the walls. A family decided to put an offer on their dream home in Pennsylvania after the home inspection proved that it was a solid house. But the home inspector missed one huge detail. He failed to look at the walls and the strange thing that was hiding inside of them. The family wanted to add better insulation into one of the rooms, so they opened up the walls and they found a dark secret. They found some Old Spice cans and newspapers that dated back to like 30s or 40s, but that's not where the weird part of the story is. Those newspapers were covering bones from animal corpses. After they tore up the rest of the walls, the smell became unbearable, and the more they tried to fix it, the worse that it actually got. The family got very sick from the dead animals inside of their house and they had to spend thousands of dollars trying to get rid of the animal bones. I mean, what happened and who put these bones in the wall? World War II hidden room comes in at number seven. A Reddit user from Norway posted some pretty disturbing pictures of a hidden room that he discovered in the attic of his house. Apparently his landlord told him that the house had a hidden room, but he was extremely vague on, you know, where it was. So instead of working or being productive, the renter thought that it would be a good idea to go exploring, be Dora the Explorer. Well, he accidentally found the room when he kicked a wall in the attic. And inside of this dark secret room was a sign that read, if you have a bad stomach, then you don't have access. I mean, what the heck does that mean? I don't have a good stomach. I'd get the heck out of there. Why do I need a strong stomach? What is about to happen? Was he about to die? There was also a lamp alarm that was used to warn people nearby when someone came into the room and there was an old map of Western Europe. Oh, and also they found an old doll shoe that looked like it came straight out of a horror movie. I'd say you're better off boarding up that wall and forgetting this wall or this experience ever existed. The real life Dexter room slices its way into number six. A man was extremely surprised when he discovered a small passageway in his attic that was blocked by a locked door. Locked doors for me mean I'm not going to enter. 
it means I'm, I'm not that curious. Well, obviously this made this person curious and he decided to burst open the padlock to see what was hiding behind this door. Why do people do this? Well, he probably should have called his realtor and put the house back on the market because what he found was actually pretty terrifying. Once he crawled through the tiny space, busted open the lock, and opened the door, he found a soundproofed room covered in plastic with a platform in the middle and a suitcase. I can only imagine what went on in this room. Inside of the suitcase there was jewelry and several black tapes that had no, 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 and save yourself written on them. He handed the tapes over to the police and I guess we'll never know what are on those tapes, but I'm sure we can all take a few wild guesses. Maybe this was the real life Dexter house. And I'm not talking about Dexter, what is it called, Dexter's laboratory. I'm not talking about it was his house. I'm talking about the guy that murdered people. People staircase brings us to number five. Two people were house hunting when they stumbled across this extremely terrifying discovery. They made their way down a flight of rickety old stairs into the basement and they were pretty disturbed. Behind the stairs, they found an area that looked like it was being used as a bedroom, you know, of some sort. On the back of the stairs, there were creepy disturbing messages written on the walls. Some of the notes said, no watching Isaiah through the hole and stop watching me and also, is this real life right now? Okay, uh, that's that's something that I would write on the wall. I don't think they saw that on the wall. If they did, that's pretty cool. Well, what's going on here? When they looked even closer, they saw that there were small peepholes carved out of the stairs. So whoever was locked away in this room was able to see out. This is way too sinister for me. And I just want to forget the existence of this. So let's move on. A secret roommate jumps onto our list at number four. A secret roommate? <laughs> well, a group of students from Ohio made a shocking discovery when they found out that a man had been living in a secret room in their house. And you know what? He wasn't even paying rent. Well, that's probably one of the scariest things that could happen to you when you move into a new home. Make sure the new home is empty first. At first, the students thought that they were being haunted by a ghost because their cupboards were always left open and they heard strange noises. But as it turns out, the ghost, well, the ghost was actually a real person and the truth was way more terrifying. After they extensively searched the house, they discovered a room in the basement behind a door that led to a secret room. Inside, they found a double bed, a student's textbooks and pictures. I guess college is really expensive because this guy was living rent free for a very long time. The student quickly changed the locks and left a note for their unwanted roommate, telling him that he couldn't live there anymore. If it was me, I'd probably leave a note saying $800 please. And then you can stay in that secret room and I won't tell anybody. We don't have to get the police involved. A terrifying hideout takes us to number three. An HVAC worker was doing some renovations on a house when he suddenly discovered a secret room in the attic of the garage. He realized that a piece of the wall didn't look like it belonged. So he pushed on it, which turned out to be a hidden room. Inside, there were air vents, stained wood walls, carpeted floors, cable hookups, electrical outlets, and even a makeshift bathroom. There were some personal items thrown around the room and two license plates hung on the wall. At first he thought that someone was kept against their will, but the lock was on the inside, not the outside. So that takes that theory out the window. So this room was meant to keep people out. I don't know what is more terrifying. Well, as it turns out, this house used to belong to a man named RJ and his mother, Dee Dee Moore, also known as the Lottery Killer. She was convicted of murdering a man who won the lottery back in 2012. So maybe this is her secret room that she wanted to use to hide from the police. Number two, the secret prison cell. Christian Perez has been working as a home inspector in Tampa, Florida for many years. And during his career, he has stumbled across a lots of secret and hidden rooms, but he will never forget what he found years ago during one of his inspections. Whenever he thinks about it, he still gets the chills down his spine. He found a small dark room that was tucked behind a wall in the attic. It had a small bed, a strange map of a city, and also tons of empty food cans, so clearly someone's been living there. The homeowners who had been living in the house for the past 25 years, well, they said that they never even knew that this room existed. So could it be plausible that someone lived there for the past 25 years? During an investigation, no one was able to come up with a definitive answer for what this room was used for. But they speculate that someone might have been held captive there. And this is why you should always have a home inspection before buying. And I'm thinking we go one small step forward and anytime you buy a house, I think you should just gut it. 
The Murder Castle tops this list at number one. One of the most notorious buildings that was full of secret rooms was the Chicago Murder Castle, which was designed by the infamous serial killer H.H. H. Holmes. The entire building was posed as a hotel, but in reality, it was a maze full of secret kill rooms with winding passageways, trap doors, chutes, and dungeons that was full of acid vats and other torturous devices. When it was being built, he hired construction workers, and then he killed them so no one had any idea what was going on. He killed the people that designed the room, so now no one knows about it. The building had its very own crematorium so that he can use to, you know, dispose of his victims' bodies in secret. This has to be one of the most scariest things I've ever heard of. I wonder if there are other buildings like this in the world, and I'm willing to say that there, there probably are. I mean, this guy probably inspired a lot of other people, which is crazy to say. Well, there you guys have it. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys all in the next Most Amazing Top 10 video.